The king who never sleep at night, you might be surprised to learn that this intriguing monarch is actually a fictional character. The king is introduced as an enigmatic character who seemingly defies the laws of human physiology backslash. He is portrayed as a supernatural being, capable of manipulating events and maintaining his throne through his otherworldly powers. However, it's important to remember that these are just fictional tales, and no such king ever existed in history. So there you have it, a fun little behind-the-scenes tidbit about the king who never sleep at night. Remember. While we can all enjoy the thrill of these fictional stories, it's important not to get lost in them. After all, reality is often more captivating than fiction. King Satana is very wicked king and pretend he is for the people. He sacrificed his people for rituals, just to become powerful and fearful in the village. The reason why he doesn't sleep at night is because the people don't respect his command in the village and he decided to kill them for rituals to become powerful and fearful. It all started when the local residents began noticing bodies laying down in certain areas. This is a grave concern for the community, and they are rightfully worried about their safety and well-being. This situation is not just unsettling, but also potentially dangerous. You can see fear among the young and the adult in the village, and they started to worry about coming out in the night to have fun. Some of them came together and planned what to do going forward in certain areas. This is a grave concern for the community and they are rightfully worried about their safety and well-being. This situation is not just unsettling, but also potentially dangerous. The king and the advisor our first instinct should be investigate and find out what's happening. The village authorities should take swift action to address this issue and ensure the safety. These villagers are now gathered in multitude, all eager to be heard and share their concerns with the king. It's a testament to their unity and determination and it's truly heartwarming to see their resolve in action. Their presence isn't just about numbers, but about their collection voice that echoes through the ages. They are not only a community, but a family united by common goals and aspirations. They stand together, ready to face whatever challenges life throws at them. So they take a moment to appreciate these resilient. Venturing into a fantastical world where the villagers have gathered in the royal palace to discuss a curious phenomenon falling bodies. Now, the phrase, falling bodies, might sound strange, but it's actually a fascinating metaphor for uncovering hidden truths and understanding complex situations. In this context, it implies that something has been hidden or kept secret. King Satana is said to be a powerful figure from mythology who performs rituals in the forest. These rituals are not actual harmful or dangerous acts, but they can be seen as metaphors for spiritual practices or even for nature worship. In this context, King Satana represents the connection between humans and mysteries that we can learn from complex situations. In this context, it implies that something has been hidden or kept secret, and now it's time for a collective effort to unravel the mystery. As the villagers gather in the king's palace, they bring with them their wisdom their curiosity, and their dedication to uncovering the truth. They share their ideas and theories as they to make sense of this enigma. They ask questions like, why have these bodies fallen? The villagers band together to venture into the forest, determined to track down the evil inhabitant. With their collection efforts and determination, they succeed in locating the wicked person none other than King Satana himself. It's a testament to the power of unity and perseverance when you face adversity. In many African villages, the elders act as a council of wisdom and guidance. They are responsible for marking crucial decisions for the community and ensuring that the villagers' interests are protected. When they feel that their village's leader is not living up to their expectations or is no longer serving them well, they have a powerful tool at their disposal. Distolment the decision to detool a leader is not taken lightly. It involves a series of discussions and negotiations among the elders. If they conclude that detooling is necessary, they announce their decision publicly, often accompanied by traditional drumming and dancing and jubilating. The villagers then join in this joyous celebration of justice and accountability. It's an inspiring sight to see people standing together in support of their leaders being held accountable for their actions. This practice serves as a reminder that no one is above criticism or accountability, regardless of position or title. And so, 
It's essential to remember that everyone must be held responsible for their actions and should not be given undue power by others. Thanks for tuning in today. If you enjoyed the storytelling session, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing tales from our world of imagination. Until next time, keep exploring together.